Okay, let me know if everybody can hear me now. I reset a couple things. Okay, great. All right, we're just gonna go back one slide here, what I was saying. You've got to take responsibility for your thoughts, every one of them. Everything that's going through your head, you're creating things and circumstances all the time that are happening in your life and around you. You have to do this because those thoughts are going to create your actions, which will translate into your results. Allow yourself to grow and change and evolve in this process. And more importantly, do not be afraid to change. Many, many people are afraid to change. You cannot be afraid to change. If you are, you're going to get too stuck in your life. We constantly have to be in a place where we're evolving. Always, forever, infinity and beyond. And this is part of being a human being. Now, this is a great slide. It's an amazing slide. Why? Because this caterpillar depicts what wonderful things can happen when you're willing to change. So what's happening in his life right now? Well, he's going around and he's eating leaves and he has a few friends. And his life's, his life's good. I mean, he doesn't have an amazing life. He doesn't have a bad life, but he's, he's pretty happy. Okay? And he's going along and everything seems jolly and fine. And then all of a sudden, one day, he starts to feel uncomfortable and weird and strange and he's getting stressed out because something is happening. He's going through a change. He's going through a transformation. Things are not the same anymore. He's going into a metamorphosis. Okay. He does not understand what is happening to himself, his life, his body, and it's, it's uncomfortable. It's painful, actually, because... He is being forced to do something. To do what? To change. Of course, he cannot change. If he doesn't change, guess what will happen? He can die. He only has one choice to move forward, to go into the cocoon, to go into the transformation. So he can go into the cocoon and take his chances and see what will happen. No one's giving him any guarantees or promises. He has no idea what's going to happen next. He doesn't even understand what's happening now. He knows that this is not what he was expecting. But he's only got two options. Die or take your chances and move forward and change. And go into the cocoon and just go with the change. Not knowing. Not knowing what the future will hold. Having absolutely no idea. The future could be better, it could be worse, but his only other option is death. And he decides that he doesn't want to die. So he takes the chance and he goes into the cocoon. And lo and behold, guess what? He's born out as a butterfly. And look at him, he looks amazing. And he is amazing. And guess what? Life is better than he could have ever imagined. He could have never dreamed his life to be this good. And often, this is the way it is. When we're willing to take risk and chances and change and evolve, often the, the goal that we had, the thing that we wanted, ends up being even better than the outcome that we expected. And that's the incredible beauty and amazing thing about believing and trusting in ourselves and our intuition and in life. No one ever guaranteed me I'd make money in the market if I kept at it and kept trying to figure this thing out and kept losing. No one's guaranteed me a, a darn tootin' thing about the... Uh, entertainment world of the television show and yet look at me now I continue to move forward there are all kinds of things that if you're willing to take risk and go for it that can happen to you that are amazing and no one said it was going to be easy he was, it was a painful process in the cocoon but then he hatched and then he came out looking like this and in this life he lives and goes everywhere. He doesn't, he's not just stuck on this one tree. Before, he only had one house to live in. Now he's got five different homes. He can travel all over the world. He's got fruits and leaves and trees and flowers he can eat. He's got tons of friends. And he looks beautiful. And he has everything and more. And it was all because he was willing to take the chance. So the lesson to be learned here is, if you allow yourself to change and do not be afraid to do it, amazing things are possible. A lot of that has to do with your philosophy about trading and the market and money and anything you want to do in life where you want to be successful and you're going and leaping into the unknown. There are no guarantees. And whenever someone asks me for a guarantee when they take the class, I say to myself, oh, that person just isn't ready to trade or they're just, they're really not in the right frame of mind. Now, that doesn't mean they can't get in the right frame of mind, but they will need to in order to be successful. 
You got to understand what this whole thing is. And then you have to be okay with it and actually accept it and want it. Okay? And part of this just has to do with the way the universe works as well. So examine your surroundings. Who are the people in your life? What do they believe? Do they support you? Are they against you or with you? And also, how do they feel about money? What is their attitude about wealth? It'll be interesting to see. Someone will have to interview my husband if I ever get married <laughs> about his attitude about wealth and money, whenever that is, 100 years from now. But the, the reality is it'll, it'll, be, it'll be impossible for me to ever connect with someone ever in a relationship who does not share my attitude about wealth and money, which is what? That it's unlimited of the money that I could make and that anything is possible. So you got to believe, okay? Think about the people around you. Are they helping to create a healthy framework for you to grow as a trader? Are the people in your life helping to create a negative or a positive attitude concerning money? Are they helping to grow your wealth consciousness? Surround yourself with like-minded people. Surround yourself with people you want to emulate. Do not surround yourself with people that are putting you down. Get away from those people immediately. Immediately, okay? Just go, ah, and don't return their calls anymore. Enough, okay? Surround yourself with people who have a wealth consciousness. And if you don't know anyone out there that does, then go out and make some new friends. And you met me, okay? So I can be friend number one. Because there's other people out there. And if you're in a place or a situation or a town or a city or wherever you live in the world and you don't know any people like this, trust me. Put it out in the universe that you're going to meet some and you'll find some. First one's me. You just never know. Let's talk a little bit about fear. We were talking earlier about change. Many, many people are afraid of change. This idea of fear, just it's, it's taking over the world. Something needs to stop. It's an illusion. Why are some people afraid of spiders and some people are not? Why are some people afraid of airplanes and flying and some people are not? It's all an illusion. It's something we create in our mind. We manifest and create these fears in our mind and then they, then they sometimes can rule our lives. If you're not willing to let go of this, you're going to have a hard time changing. Many, many times what happens is people don't want to do something or don't want to change their life or their circumstances or whatever happens because they're in fear of something. Fear of the unknown, fear of what might happen, fear of making a mistake, fear of change, fear of losing money, fear of taking a class, fear of trading the market, fear of speaking up, fear of saying their feelings, falling in love, whatever. There's a million fears out there, but I'm telling you that often they're self-created. You see this PowerPoint here, it looks like it's moving, but it's not. It's actually, it's flat. This is one dimensional. Boom, that's it. But it, it appears to be moving. It's an illusion. And as you know, our minds are very, very powerful, as we discussed earlier. If you have 120 million neurons in your brain, what do you think? You can overcome these fears that you have in your life to be successful or do anything using the power of your mind. One of the things that I credit myself for is an amazing mind a long, 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 long time ago. That was something that I realized about myself when I was very small and something that other people recognized in me. I had no idea I'd be at this point in my life or even where I'm headed, but I will tell you that I've cherished my mind and my brain in taking care of it. If you have lived your life and not taken care of your mind and your brain or cherished it, I want you to start doing that immediately because it is going to help you be successful. You are going to need it, okay? And in the world that we live in, it is, it's going to be the difference between the people that are the winners and the losers, and it's going to be the difference between the people that actually make it and survive in, in the world and actually can't and don't for real. Okay. So think about the things that I'm saying. Take them seriously. Take the health of your mind seriously too. And part of that is what we talked about earlier. Now, does anyone have any questions about anything, anything at all I've discussed here? Any questions, any comments before we get into the next section? Good stuff. 
I hope you're taking it all in. Any questions? Or are we all good? Okay, let me just see where we're at here. Hold on one second. <clears throat> 